A great job with Ethan Ewing earlier today. Wow. And Cade in the same heat. Jeez. Cade as well. 8-5, and then Ethan almost got a 10. That was impressive. He already rode a wave. He went left, Rich. Yeah, let's check it out. First wave. Really hard to ride these left-handers now with this surface, ten uh, surface bump on it. He does pretty well. Gets a couple little snaps off, but you can see just the, the real slopey nature of these waves on the lefts. It's up to Connor and Sammy to out-position each other for this one. It will be the goofy foot from Cronulla on the wind-up. Nice clean start on the backhand. O'Leary attacks the lip again. Quick sweep to the top of the end section there. And result here just to secure his place. Let's check the replay. So it comes hard off the bottom and uh, really electric off the top, this guy. Just sort of forcing it a little bit on this opening ride, but uh, nice vertical hit. Setting up for Sammy Pupo. Pupo snapped to slide, looking lively on that JS surfboard. Throw tail to beat the section. And he'll actually pass that brick section and he's off and running with his opening score. Connor to Sammy Pupo there, Richie. Yeah, that was a pretty radical exchange there. What'd you like here, Jake? Oh, well, you could just tell the difference between these two waves. The second one's much smoother. Yeah. So Sammy's actually able to go really critical uh, a few times here. I think he's going to get a, probably a better score, but kind of did uh, pretty well for how bumpy that first one was. Don't you reckon he... Uh, the difference between... It's been a while since I've seen one of them. Ball lobster dive. Now Rio's turn. He's got some wide open face, big deep bottom turn. Nice snap to get this one started. Clean off the top and shuts it down. One of the fastest surfers on tour. Trying to improve a 2-3-3 there. Uh, like you said in his power game, Jake, but just coming off the bottom too, he's eliminated a lot of those little jitters and, and, and pumps he was doing off the bottom. He's holding that speed and acceleration. Gets a little... Rio Lida representing Indonesia, making that whole island of Bali so proud from guys like TP, Mega, Oni Anwar, what Rio's doing for their... Island Nation there as we got Sammy Pupo oh. laying into one, throwing some water. Always looking energetic as he whips one through the lip line. Pupo wraps it on the inside corner. Last wave here from Sammy Pupo, oh. Snake. Yeah, that turn there is what I loved. It's crazy. And he kind of got the job done at the end here too. So, you know, a nice little float the boat to start with to get the speed into that turn. And he really delivered here. Look at this. Look how much power. We saw fins and everything. Oh, it was so critical. Watch it. It gets the thing on so on rail here. Leans right into it. It's almost a bit John John esque, really, in uh, in the technique. It gets nice and low again. Keeps all that speed going down the line. Surfing with so much energy. Great wave here. Good backup score. So as we continue on with this one, Rio Wider in second at the moment. As he comes off into an oh. air section, board yeah, flies boy. away, and, and he's down. That was dangerous. Waiting for the swell to drop instead of, you know, hoping that the, the swell comes. Well, here goes Connor. He's been waiting a long time for this. Seven minutes to go. This is the second wave he's ridden. Nice opening turn there. Let's see if you can. That's the turn oh. I was talking about. And the power that he's got yep. is to really deliver huge turns. So I think he's going to go rocketing in a second place. The surfing's there, clearly. He's surfing so well. Let's check the replay here. He's got one of the deepest bottom turns in the business. Lines this one up and just hammers that section there. Difficult uh, sort of foamy nonsense on the face there. I think this is going to be the highest uh, score of the heat, to be honest. I mean, look at the power that he's got here. Nice vertical, jams it in the pocket there. And look at the water displacement. He's a big boy. A hey, very similar comparison between Connor O'Leary and Cole Hauschman as well, just in how they surf and how big their manoeuvres are. Um, and I just think Connor's perhaps just a little bit more radical in his approach, gets a bit more flair out of the lip. Um, and he would have watched what Cole did at Bells and gone, hang on a minute, I, I, this is, I want to be doing this, you know. Um, bring it home for the Goofies. Little pop-up peak setting up here, and we've got Connor swooping down to the bottom. Hitting it quickly off the top. Stepping on the next section to cover some ground. On the windup for a finish. Jams it shut, trying to better a 5-3-3, Rich. Uh, close, but maybe not uh, really going to extend any lead there. Well, he's third priority, so he thought there was nothing to lose. Yeah. But if he misses one of these 
set waves here it could be disastrous for him. Here goes Rio. Rio with some speed, it connects with the lip really well, flows over the top of the next section. Winds up off the bottom, oh, tail high wow. whip into reverse. How cool was that? Wow. Love now it. He's got a bonus section. He will hit it hard, even with barely any water under his feet. Is this better than a 5-3-3? Okay, first turn, nice and vertical, so on reflection. Pretty good first turn, really. The second one, just a, just a check turn, really, and then had to do all this work. Because this is definitely going to get his uh, a 6-4. Look, nice opening turn. Look at the power speed he's got coming off that section. And then just threw it all into this uh, turn here. Um, oh, yeah, I think he gets it easy. He goes into the, the 775 range. There wasn't much Connor. more he could have done on that way, really. No. The points are going to come from that uh, that one big turn out the back. This was Sammy Pupo on the outside. Third wave of the set. Just uh, getting really radical there. Always remembering the best waves for your comparison. So on that one, Rio comes up just short in a very close decision. Connor O'Leary and Sammy Pupo take the top two spots and will be reseated into the round of 32.